Hi, welcome along to Barbecue Life UK, where great barbecue doesn't have to cost a fortune. And today we are cooking ducks on a rotisserie. So that's right, today we're cooking ducks on the Only Fire rotisserie on the Weber kettle. Um, I love the Only Fire rotisserie because I'm able to set up a wired thermometer on there and you can't do that with the Weber um, rotisserie. So if you want to work out how to do that for yourself, then please do check out the iCard up the top. I've got a video on how to set up a wired thermometer on a rotisserie and it'll go around with it and it'll save you spending a fortune on wireless thermometers. Anyway, let's get back to these ducks. So I've got two ducks, that are completely identical. These have come from my local game dealer. Um, they are identical in weight. They are about 1.4 kilo each. And I've taken them and let them sit on the side for about an hour. And this is just let any moisture that's sat inside the packaging sort of evaporate out. And it's gonna help us get a crispier skin. So now that they've dried out a little bit, I'm going to make some cuts into the breasts and legs. So we just take a real sharp knife and just some nice slits through the breast. I do three, generally do three through the breast and then one through the thigh and one through the leg. And this I do for two reasons. One, when we put our rub on, we can make sure that we get our rub inside and on the meat rather than just on the skin. And two, ducks are quite fatty and you need that fat to be able to escape out from underneath the skin. So this is going to help with that process. So now we've got our cuts in, we're gonna be going on with our rub. So this is a nice, simple rub. Um, in here, I've got salt, pepper, garlic, onion powder, and a little bit of rosemary. That is it. I've put this in a pestle and mortar. I've really ground it down to make a really fine dust and that is what we're gonna be going on to the ducks. But this is just my general, what I gen generally use on poultry, if I'm not using a branded rub. So we're gonna get that onto the skin all the way over. In order to get that to stick, you're going to need to use some form of binder. So today I'm just using olive oil. So I've just got a little spray bottle of olive oil and I give that a spray all over the skin, give it a little rub in and that just gives this rub something to attach to. So we're just gonna sprinkle the rub over, make sure that we pull the duck apart at them slits so that we can get the rub into the meat on the inside as well. So once we've got all that rub on both ducks, we wanna again put that to one side. I put them in the fridge for about an hour and I just let the rest of that rub, it draws out any moisture that's left in there and it's gonna really help crisp up the skin with the salt that is in there. So after that hour, it's time to start setting up our kettle. So with ducks, I mentioned a minute ago about the, the high fat content. So what I tend to do when I cook ducks is I start them off at a lower temperature and I bring them up to a temperature rather than just sticking them straight in at a screaming hot temperature. I like to let the fat melt slower. So I've got two charcoal baskets in here. If you don't have charcoal baskets, then just bank, bank your coals off to each side. Into these charcoal baskets, I'll put a wax woody on in each side and light that into the center of the, um, the charcoal basket. And if I was looking for a higher temperature right from the beginning, then I would be putting my charcoal into a chimney starter and then splitting it between the two baskets. But as I say, I wanna keep that temperature lower to begin with keep the vents fully open, and then the temperature will come up while the ducks are in there. So once the woodies have gone out, it's time to start getting our ducks onto the rotisserie skewer. Now on camera, this is the most cack-handed thing to try and do. So you're gonna to have to excuse the things moving about right in front of the screen because it's not an easy thing to do. You thread the first duck on, Make sure that you get it on at least one of the prongs on the rotisserie itself. Then you get your other duck on and prongs on the other end of there. Push them together. Make sure that you push them together as much as possible because as they start to cook, they're gonna shrink just slightly and then you're gonna get much more movement while it's on that skewer and then that'll put stress on your motor because as the duck's going round 
as it twists it will fall and then that is what's going to put stress on your motor so you want to make sure you really pack them in tightly together so once we've got them onto the skewer and we've got them nice and tight this is when we get them onto the kettle so get the uh, large skewer into place and then we turn the rotisserie on lid on let that temperature come up slowly now i'm not massively worried about what temperature this barbecue gets up to today i know with the charcoal in there the maximum it's going to get to is 250. i probably won't even get that high 220 is probably the highest it will get but because we're cooking indirect because we've got them charcoal baskets off to one side and they're constantly moving all that heat is going to help us do is crisp up crisp up the skin it doesn't dry out the bird because the fat that we're rendering out rolls around the bird and that's what keeps it moist so starting off at a low temperature let it start to render out and then as the temperature comes up that will crisp up your skin and that's why i use this method so set up your uh, wired thermometer like i said at the beginning let's say if you want to check that video out i'll make sure that it's in the comments below on how to set it up it's a really easy way to set up a, up a thermometer on a rotisserie so we're monitoring our temperatures now duck's safe to eat at 63 and today i overshot my temperature so I'll, my next door neighbor turned up at the back and i went out and had a little chat with him by the time i come back in they had got to 67 so after that rest as well they went up to around 70 so they weren't quite as pink as where i wanted them to be but they're still going to be beautifully juicy total cook time on this was just under an hour about 55 minutes i reckon i probably could have taken them off at 50 if i was paying a bit more attention um, and not i've overshot that temperature but we're going to get them off get them onto a plate and let them rest if you don't let them rest then all of that juice that we've managed to keep in there by doing a rotisserie is just going to run out of the bird and that is no good no one wants to be eating dry meat so let them rest loosely cover them in foil if you want to i'm not going to because if you do that it tends to soften the skin slightly and i want the skin to stay as uh, crisp as i possibly can so just move them off for sort of 10 minutes they don't get cold because there's so much heat in them it just means that when you do eat it it doesn't burn your mouth so after that 10 minutes we're just going to give it a little carve take off a small section of the breast and then we're going to give it a taste so let's give this beautiful piece of duck a taste i've got that piece i've just cut off so tender really tender you know how sometimes we say simplicity is king that is what this is simple but yet perfect onion powder garlic powder a few herbs salt and pepper and that is absolutely banging fantastic i'd have liked a bit more color on there if i'm honest um, and the skin to crisp up a little bit more um, next time i do it i will put more charcoal in the charcoal baskets probably use a chimney starter to begin with so i get a very high heat right from the off rather than letting it build like it did i was hoping that might help render the fat out um, and then get a crispier skin but it didn't quite go to plan but as you guys all know i always put a video out whether it's gone to plan or not and i'll explain to you what i would do differently again if i was to ever do it again so yeah that skin is just not quite crisp enough so i would like a bit more heat i think is what would have been ideal for that but if you like what we're doing here at barbecue life uk then please do subscribe to the channel make sure you ring the bell for notifications leave me a comment let me know what you think if there's anything you'd like to see me cook leave that in a comment as well and make sure you like the video interaction is really important to youtube and it helped me grow the channel if you can just do one of those interactions it would be great thank you very much for watching